Right now, MedStar Health is looking for people who have tested positive for COVID-19 and are fully recovered. They may be able to donate their plasma as a potential therapy for patients who are still battling the virus. Joining me today is Dr. Glenn Wartman. He is the Section Director of Infectious Diseases at MedStar Washington Hospital Center. Dr. Wartman, thank you very much for joining us today. No, thank you for having me. Let's begin with just the simple question. How does this plasma therapy actually work to treat people who currently have the coronavirus? Sure. Now, I think it's important to know we don't know if it's going to work. We hope it's going to work, but we really don't know yet. The idea is that you take antibodies from someone that's had the infection before, developed an immune, an immune response to that virus, we take those antibodies from that person and then infuse it into somebody who has an active infection. And hopefully those antibodies will kill the virus and make the person better. And has this type of treatment been around for a while? How long has this been used? It's a very old treatment. It was first used against diphtheria um, back in the early uh, 1900s. If you remember Balto driving the serum up to Alaska. That was a form of what we're trying to do now. So it's been used before with mixed results, and we don't know if it's going to work with COVID, but we're hoping to try it. So who is eligible then to donate plasma for this study? Is it anybody who tests, tested positive at some point for COVID-19? Yes, if you've tested positive for COVID, and you've been feeling better for at least 14 days, we wanna make sure you've been feeling better for at least two weeks, then we're happy to hear from you. There's a screening test which is done over the phone to see if you're eligible for donation at that point. Okay, and so for people who may be interested in donating, are there any side effects for those who do donate their plasma? Only the pain of a needle stick. Um, so it's the same as giving blood. Normally it's, based, it's the same procedures when you donate blood. You'll have a needle put into your arm, some blood taken out, and then you go on with the rest of your day. And can people, what do they need to do if they're interested in donating? Who should they call them and what steps should they follow? Sure, we'd be happy to hear from donors and I can tell you our phone number which is 202-877-6290. When you call, you'll talk to one of our providers and a short interview will be done to see if you're eligible to donate blood. If you are, then they'll make arrangements for you to go to the Red Cross where you'll donate blood at the Red Cross. And Dr. Wartman, before we let you go, I know you're working on the front lines every day. You're working, your specialty is infectious diseases. We want to thank you for your service. Can you describe for us what the conditions are like and how you're holding up right now? The, the people here are phenomenal. All healthcare providers are just unbelievable. The nurses, the physicians, everybody in the hospital is doing a great job um, at taking care of these incredibly sick people. Morale is good, and we're doing what we're trained to do. And I was asking you earlier when we were chatting in the commercial break if this experience for you compares to anything else since you've been practicing. And you told me you were in the military. Describe a little bit for me the comparison there. Oh, I mentioned that I was in the military and deployed twice, and it's similar to that in that it's, it's very busy for a long period of time with a total commitment to taking care of a problem which is in front of you. And I think certainly at the hospital center and all hospitals, people have really stepped up big time to do what needs to be done. All right, Dr. Wartman, thank you very much. Again, thank you for your service there on the front lines and thank you for that critical information for people who may be interested in donating plasma. And we'll see as the days go on uh, how well it works. Thank you very much for your time. Great, thank you for having me.